everyone! Today I am coming on to show you um, a giveaway that I won from Tsunami Rose. And I won one of her beautiful journals. And it looks like this on the outside. And she even has a tutorial on how to make these. Um, which is really amazing that she shares that because she also sells um, her journals on Etsy. And she also sells uh, digital downloads and lots of other amazing like ephemera and stuff for junk journals. So um, go check her out if you like what you see. Um, this is the journal that I won and you open it up. It has a ton of her ephemera in it. It's his best day ever. And it looks like every single page she um, coffee dyed. And it's memories. There's a butterfly with roses on it. And lace. There's lots of lace along the pages. And then she attaches uh, cute charms, which is really unexpected. And then it says, Treasured Things. Memories of a child walking along the seashore. You can never tell what small pebble it will pick up and store away among its treasured things. Oh. And it says Ladies Home Company and it has this cute vintage lady and another vintage lady and flowers and she attaches the ephemera together with um, the tiny attacher, Tim Holtz tiny attacher, which is so cool. And this is a pocket and you open it up and there's pieces of ephemera inside. This says, Sea Lits Powders, 5 cents each. And look at the back. I mean, just gorgeous. Um, I'm pretty sure this is her, uh, one of her digital lines of ephemera. And then she prints it out on, like, thick cardstock. She does go over this um, journal on her site. But just in case you didn't see it, you can see it here. Um, New England Grape and Lace. Ooh. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. Great places to uh, do your journaling. And then another beautiful design with the coffee dyed paper. And then a cute paper clip. I don't know what the design is, but it's really pretty. And then lots of cute ephemera. And you flip the page and it's just Every single page, I mean, I could just gush about this, but like every single page is kind of amazing. And uh, it says, The road to a house of a friend is never long. It's a Danish proverb. She glued that over an atlas with a rose behind it. Everything's like super layered. And then this page says, Laughter is the shortest distance between two people. Victor. Borge. And then there's a teacup with flowers in it and a doily behind that. And the teacup and the flowers and the doily are all separate elements that she stapled together with the tiny attacher. I mean, having one of these journals, I highly recommend getting one from her Etsy shop because it's just chock full of inspiration if you're interested in making a junk journal of your own or if you... Um, just love to feel inspired. It's just so beautiful. Um, you can't make it better. You can la if you can't make it better, you can laugh at it. Says Irma Bombeck. It's just really pretty, vintagey, but you know, um, very beautiful with the flowers, the lace. And here we have a little tiny purse charm. And there's a little shoe. And I just love how there's like inspiring quotes all throughout this junk journal. The purpose of life is to discover your gift. The meaning of life is to give it away. And I thought, that, wow, you know, that's pretty meaningful seeing as she made this junk journal and then um, she gave it to me as part of a giveaway on her channel. I just think that that's like extremely generous and, um, you know, she's following that quote because she's found that art is the purpose of her life or maybe one of the purposes and she's giving it away that's I'm overwhelmed by the generosity um, our famous genuine Dongola kid button boot two dollars per pair it's just 
How cute is that? And I like how there's tons of embellishments, but there's also space to write. To be honest, this is just, I find it to be a work of art. I don't think I would write in it. But, um, yeah. Um, it says, A will finds a way. And Orison Sweat Marden said that. Hmm, never heard of him. And she put a doily and beautiful paper and more of her vintage roses that she designs. I like how she coffee dyed the paper and then printed her digital designs on it. I'm overwhelmed by how pretty this is. I have looked at other people's um, like Etsy shops and what people are doing um, as far as what they're selling and the wares they have for sale and I'm just to have one in your hands is a different experience than seeing it online, I'll tell you that. It's really, really beautiful. I, this is my favorite quote of the whole book. It says, Joy is your birthright. Leslie Santos. Isn't that the truth? Orange River Fruit. I feel like just reading everything, but maybe I don't need to. And maybe I'll just do a flip through and you can just take in the beauty all by yourself. I like the paper clip and the bicycle. And look at this beautiful vintage lace. It's too much to even explain. You gotta hold one in your own hand. Um, I love the sound of this paper. It's really nice how she embellished it, and then she has more embellishments in the pockets. A doily. It's really pretty, a pretty perfume bottle. I don't know what kind of paper this is. It looks like a receipt. It's pretty cool. Oh, let's see. I remember today. This is one of my favorite pages. There's a cup. No, it's not a cupcake. It's a comb. And you got this really pretty lace. And then you have this really pretty paper on the other side. Wow. Like she took scrap of paper and then printed on this the other side of it. It's like overwhelming. And it's really beautiful. So I'll just keep flipping through so you can get a view of it without me describing everything. Love this. Sometimes people talk too much. I, you know, I've heard that. I don't necessarily believe that, but <laughs> other people say sometimes people talk too much. It's just really, really, really pretty, and it feels amazing to have it and touch it and check it out. I think between these two pages is the middle of the book, and she chose to seal it up, like the um, binding. Which is interesting, you know. Um, I've never really minded seeing the cords like that person bound the book with, but at the same time, um, it's a neat idea. Saturday special, 25. It says, we cannot change life with an exclamation point. We can only change the way we live. Any moment is the best moment, and any place is the best place. Oh, my fan is kind of loud. I will turn it off. It was getting kind of hot in here. So, we have lots of botanical images. A little kid in the garden. This one is really heavy for some reason. Hmm. It's really cool paper. It's charming. This book is charming. Envelope. Look at this beautiful lace. And the charm is a teapot. I mean, how cute is that? Really cute quotes. And there's one of those crinkle pockets again. You gotta love it. 
vintage fan. Oh, I love butterflies. And then this pocket with ephemera in it. You lift it up and there's more ephemera. And graph paper. A nice tag. One of these. This looks like it's a tuck spot. That's really cool. Because it's not pasted all the way down. And there's lace with a fan hanging off of it. And then really, really, really gorgeous. Nice shoe. Beautiful handheld fan. And pink lace with a teapot charm. I would never have thought to put charms on the lace. It's a very unique idea. It's a pocket. So many beautiful images. Love the flowers. And that is the last image in the book. And what we have here for the charm is a perfume bottle. And it says perfume. Wow. And it's pretty thick. It's pretty chunky. I just want to say thank you so much, Daisy, from Tsunami Rose. And um, everybody who's watching, go check out her channel and check out her Etsy shop uh, for inspiration on uh, how to make junk journals. And um, if it's your birthday or a friend's birthday, splurge on a junk journal because it is an amazing gift. Like, anybody would appreciate this.